Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to day six, which is our second day in Cosimo. Yeah. So today we are going to go to Del Mar Beach Club. Mm -hmm. um, what you do is you exit the cruise terminal, then you turn left and you walk for about 10 or 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. and it's going to be on your left, directly across from the Casa Del Mar Hotel. So that's what we're going to do today. It's $39 a person. That's all you can drink, all you can eat. Um, and I'll put the menus right here for you while we're talking about it. So we've seen a couple of the vloggers do this and we okay. thought it would be good as a low cost, easy thing for people to do when they're in Cozumel. It doesn't require paying for a taxi and then $39 a person is cheaper than what you would probably pay just to go to dinner. Mm -hmm. And, or go eat somewhere and saw our last uh, video you understand since it was we would tip it was fifty five dollars mm -hmm. for us to have two meals well I mean we each had a meal mm -hmm. and two drinks so I think thirty nine dollars is pretty reasonable for the area so we're gonna we're gonna check it out and see what we think and I guess just in case you haven't seen the rest of our vlogs why we said day two is um, for this cruise we missed our first two ports and because of that they got Cozumel to agree to let us stay overnight right at this port so we got here around 5 36 last night right this is our second day and we'll leave around like 3 30. right so we're probably gonna head back to the ship around 2 because mm -hmm. the embarkation time is 3 30 that gives us an hour and a half in case I don't know we get lost in the street yeah. I don't think we will. It's literally like you go out, you turn left, you walk, you're there. Then you come back, you turn right, you walk, you're back at the cruise yeah, terminal. We've already done this. We've already went there last night, so <laughs> yeah, we want, checked it out. We, we wanted, we wanted to, to make sure we were going to go. Wanted to know what I was talking about for you guys, yeah. not just wandering around the streets of Cozumel. All right, so this morning I got up early and mm -hmm. we'll slip in. Yes. So I went to the buffet and I got a little plate. So I'll show you guys what I got. And then I came back through and I brought Will some coffee and coffee. some little treats mm -hmm. and then we are ready to go now and we will see you guys when we get off the ship yeah. all right come on let's let's go see cause and milk time to go get internet all right bye guys hello there we're off the ship yeah I can't we can't see tell guys. if we're in frame or not so i can see our heads at least so i think we're in frame <laughs> so you can see the ship behind us and we are walking down the pier to get to the port yep, yep. and then we're gonna show you guys how to get to Del Mar Beach Club. Yeah. So remember we're at the Carnival Port. Yeah, yeah. So it's a little bit further than if we were at the Royal Port. It's true. Just slightly though because yeah. you guys can see the allure is right there. All right, so we got the allure over there. Uh, we were on her in December. Yeah. I just finished, well, I'm almost done editing those vlogs. <laughs> That's true. We, we have one edit on the ship and we are going to do another one. That's yep. really cool. Let's look at this. That, that's smart. Yeah, that's a good little... That's a smart little thing to take with you on the cruise. Yeah, but look how big the Allure is. It's so big compared to... Mind you, it's big, but yeah. uh, that's bigger. All right. So, when we exit the port, since we're at Carnival, it takes about 15 minutes to get to Del Mar. Yeah. If you were on Royal, I think it takes more like 10. Yeah. Because it's really not that far between the two ports. It's not. So, I think even if you're on Carnival, you technically can go to the Royal Port. But you can because like Margaritaville and stuff is right there. Yeah, so if you wanted to go to Margaritaville, it's really not that far of a walk. Um, you just have to go out to the exit, turn right, walk maybe five minutes, and then turn left into that port area. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if they would give you any trouble at all with it because no one stopped us at that entrance point it's last true. night. We just probably look like we are on the cruise. It's so true. The only place we got stopped was right before where you enter. Yeah. So it looks like today they're wanting us to go through the duty free. The duty -free. So, so we'll you go. may have to go through the duty free, I, don't I guess. Think you have to. Depends on who's there, how they're controlling traffic, things like that. Yeah, I don't think you have to. We yeah. can just pretend to be crew and just keep going. That's true. But we'll 
we'll play. Yeah. So okay. We're not in a huge rush to get over there. It doesn't open till we nine. We are. We're in a huge rush. We have to get there exactly at nine. <laughs> we have to make sure we get the full no, experience. We don't. I think if we each drink two drinks, meet some nachos, we'll probably get the full money's worth. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna take some pictures of the ship for the thumbnail, and then we'll see you guys if we see anything cool. All right, this is what the port looks like in the daytime. You can see like a lot of more of the little stands are open. Yeah, all the stands are open and stuff like that. But it's still not very busy this morning. Yeah, I think we're the only ones here. It, it said Glory, so I wonder well, if- Well, they'll the, be here. Yeah, the Glory's gonna come in. Then, yeah. It should just be us and the glory over here. The allure is at the Royals, so. So I wonder who's going to be at Del Mar. I wonder if we're going to have some people from the Royal over there. Probably. That kind of makes sense. That's the drugstore we went to last night. We didn't end up getting anything. Yeah, we, uh, we don't like the... It's not that the exchange rate is bad, it's just that it costs a lot of money here to get the thing that we want. So, that's it. I'm gonna close it off. Hello right. guys. So we've exited the port. Yep. We're down to Royal Port now. And we're just gonna keep walking. So you guys can kind of see it's just a lot busier than it was last night out yeah. here. Tons of taxis, tons of cars. Lots of people are going to talk to you just saying no gracias, keep moving. Yep. Unless you want to talk to them. Yeah. And just an update, probably 20 minutes. Well, it just depends on walk. how fast you walk. We got yeah. behind some slow walkers for a little bit. So it's going to put us back because the sidewalk is pretty wide. Yep, yep. And now we're having to stop because there's some taxis coming out. So we're going to put the camera down though because it's dangerous. Okay. We're almost there. You'll look for this sign here, and then it's gonna be across the street. So, we're headed up onto it now, and I'll show you the sign when we get up there. All right, so this is the sign. All right, it looks like the glory's headed in. And then we got the allure right here. So see, we're, we're really close to the port still. Kind of a look at the area here. So it's a pretty small little area, but it seems nice. So it's slowly just moving in. Look how big they are. So it's cold. The yeah. verdict is it's cold. It's refreshing. I'll take you guys to see it. See, look, it's pretty wavy. See right here? Menu. <laughs> this is the drink menu. Uh, so you guys are aware we did get the all inclusive package, so you can do it per drink, per food item, but... I don't know how. I think that might be not per food Hot menu snacks. I don't know if you can read that, so we we'll slowly go this way. Cold menu snacks. So yeah, it looks really good. Um, only thing that is not right now they don't have is the club sandwich today and they'll let you know what they do and don't have if they can't source it for the menu for that day. So, so yeah, such a pretty view. Such a pretty view right there, such a pretty view. We like to look at ships. Yeah. This is a good one for looking at ships. See the lures right there. The glory's back there. We can't see the ruby can anymore. See it a little. Yeah, like the nose of it. Oh, true. You can see the little I bet nose. If we go over there, we're like out 
up there and get a shot. It'd be really cool with all the shit. All three. See a little nose right there. But yeah. Hello. So I just checking in. That's a joy lady. He's relaxing. Um, just so you guys are aware, kitchen just not open until 10.30. So if you want to come here, straight off the ship and eat, wait till 10.30. Um, yeah, but we, we have are, some like snacks, so we don't really need anything. Will yeah. was just thinking he'd try the quesadilla. And we are still working on these guys. Well, I'm pretty much done with my mojitos. Yeah, they so, have mojitos here, guys. Yeah, that's new. We looked on the menu before, did not see that there was mojitos, so I'm glad they added mojitos to the list. And they maybe always had it, and I just didn't see it. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, they have mojitos. They're really good. They have margaritas. They're, they're pretty good as well. Mojitos probably a little bit better. I going to try the mango daiquiri at some point. Yeah. I'm a sweet person, so you'll see mango daiquiri, sex on the beach, anything very, very sweet, that's what I drink. Yeah. And she's a tart person. I don't really like sweet sweet. This one was a little sweet, but it wasn't bad. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's better than the one that was on the ship that I tried. That yeah. one, I don't know if it was just like cheap alcohol or what it was. I, I couldn't tell you for sure. It wasn't very good. It's probably the rum, right? Yeah. Rum and yeah. So maybe, I don't know. Okay. Updates for you later. Bye. All right, here's the mojito that I got. So it has lime and mint in it. So it's like a full-blown mojito. And it's very full. As you can see, I just spilled some. And this is the mango daiquiri that Will got. Have you tried it yet? Yes. How is it? Very mango. Like That's good, I suppose. I like mango a lot. So. Thank you so much. Our first food has arrived. I got the Mexican nachos and the pico and then Will got a cheese quesadilla with frijoles y guacamole. Hello. Hi. So, uh, we're heading back. We're heading back. Uh, we had a great time at Del Mar. Yeah, I give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, um, it's really small. 35 people can get there. Um, yeah, we met a lot of nice people there. We did the all-inclusive, so good. drinks are really good. The uh, they were a little, were really good. they were a little light on the liquor before certain time, so, we, there, so, so we think they just couldn't serve I don't know what so much wanna. beforehand. But uh, they got stronger as we if, went along. If you want to get drunk, get the gin and tonic. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, uh, That's all I'm saying. Wife got the gin and tonic, and uh, who? My wife, Jordan. Jordan. Right Jordan. Lee. Jordan. Lee. She, she's right here beside me. She got a gin tonic and uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a lot. But the mojito was really good. The mojito was really good. Yeah. Uh, all my drinks were really good, really good. I started drinking beers about halfway through. I would so. get the fried chicken tacos. It's taquitos con chicken. Pollo. Yeah. And I was... I but was coconut good. shrimp, like she said. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah, the nachos were good. He liked the cheese cake. He got a burger, guys. He got a burger and it was really good. You should drag him for getting a burger. I just wanted something that would fill my stomach and burger sounds good to me. In the comments below, drag him. Yeah, it's fine. But yeah, we're heading back to the ship. Yeah, we're going to get on the ship, so we'll talk to you guys later. Yeah. Bye for now. Uh -huh. But you know what? You deserve that Dolce Banana bag. He really deserves it. Let's see. All right, Will is playing the hole in one game. David plans to take home a Dolce and Banana bag. Oh oh, oh oh. Have you seen Harry Potter? When Snape is, you know, like saying something to Harry Potter, no fault of the room. He's like the same, you know? Saying all the spells for you to, to miss. Okay, you know, one more time. One more time. He's, he's not hitting it hard enough and it's sloping. He's got to hit it a little harder. Ah. So, so we are heading to a trivia. Go, guess. Yeah, oh, guess. Guess where we're going. Well, trivia. Uh, that's at 4.30 in the Explorer Lounge. Um, we got back from our excursion around 2.33. And then we just hung out in the room until then. 
And you played the golf game. I played the golf game. I did poorly. I'm a sore shot for uh, golf. So, yeah. Uh, did not do well. Lost completely. It was on tile. It's not the best. Yeah, I watched it. I didn't participate. I was yeah. too tired. Then we went upstairs and we took a nap. Yeah. Yeah. Too many drinkies too many at drinkies. Del Mar. But the food and drinks were really good. Yeah. I think we've said that before, but like Sober Me says they're really good too. Yeah. Slightly drunk me says they're so really good as well. But yeah. Trivia and then we will do something else. We'll bring you along with us. Bye for now. Say bye. Bye. Hi you guys. So tonight is Hello. formal night and we are all, wait, wait a minute. Are we all dressed up? Yeah, we're dressed up. We're gonna go over right now. So we decided that since Cosmo was such a long day and I maybe didn't know why We may be low sunburned. The best here. We may be sunburned. Here and here. I'm, I am sunburned as well. You can't see it, but. He is not sunburned. Um. We're just gonna go to the buffet. It's Asian night. Yeah. I wonder what kind of Asian so food they're gonna have. We love Asian food. So yeah. Maybe they're gonna have sushi. Thing. Do you think they'll have sushi? I don't think they're gonna have sushi. I think they're gonna. Hopefully, they have multiple Indian dishes that. Well, it was Indian buffet no, the no, other no, night. No. We missed it. Oh well. Hopefully, they still have multiple Indian dishes. Hopefully, they just rename it Asian night to make it sound better, and they're just gonna put multiple Indian dishes out there. Or maybe they're gonna have like stir fry and stuff. Yeah, I want all that food. So. Okay. So we're gonna go do that. That sounded better to us than lobster and beef tenderloin, to yeah, be honest. So I'm tired of that. Just so you guys are aware, please let us know in the comments how you feel about lobster and is that is it the most amazing thing ever? I feel ever. like we've had amazing this conversation multiple times. I just wanna times. know. He thinks it's overrated. Why you guys I don't really like care lobster? And tell, let me know what I'm doing wrong about you eating lobster. You don't like butter enough. Yeah, is it because I don't like butter enough? The ship's are moving. Oh yeah, so we're going like 20 knots the entire way back. Cause we have like 700 nau nautical miles to get, yeah, to get back. I, so like, so we're going to be rocking all so you guys let me know. The, for the next day and a half. Do you prefer two sea days at the beginning of the cruise mm -hmm. or two sea days at the end of the cruise? I like two sea days at the end of the cruise. So we can like go Just back go slowly. Just go get there. Do the ports and then slow back so you can recover. Yeah. That's my preference. Let me, let me know. We're not really recovering because we only went to one port, but. I don't know. We did that port hard. Yeah. We were not sober. We made it back to the ship. Yeah. Uh-huh. Walking, too. It's just crazy. Yeah, yeah but it was hot, guys. It's hot. It was hot. Like, bring a sun hat. Maybe yeah. one of those little fans. Well, wait a minute. Some some cruise line banned fans. What? I don't remember which one. Like they're plugging into your wall? Yeah, probably because it takes too much power. No, like even the battery operated Oh, one. that's weird. I know. I can't that remember which sense. one. That's. I know that's really weird. But I don't know. I'm not going to say which cruise line because I don't know for sure. Yeah. But, um, yeah. But maybe you want a fan. Maybe one of those that go around your neck. Yeah. A hat. Blows up into your face. Yeah, yeah. Some cool towels. Well, because another thing is like two gangways were open mm -hmm. and we went ahead and went to the far one yeah. because one, we can, mm -hmm. like we can walk over there and two, like we thought it would be quicker. <laughs> but then we saw. But then they didn't have the the cool towels at that they one. They didn't. They, they only had it at the first one. And we saw that like there was a line to get on the ship because yeah. on our Facebook group they posted a picture and it was like all the way down the pier and that's not good for like people who can't stand this heat because yeah, it's I just cement I, water I that's I, reflecting I, in your face yeah I would have died so I don't think so I would have died but I wouldn't have been happy I was unhappy with the whole thing yeah. it was just hot <sighs> okay so we're going to dinner yeah buffet maybe there won't be that many people there because it's yeah. formal night and we'll get to show it to you yeah we'll see Let's go. Okay, bye. So we're in the Horizon Court. It's it's not very busy in here. Um, this is the second formal night. So if you guys want to be up in the buffet at a good time, come a little bit early and go on a formal night and you may get very good seats, not as many crowds. 
and just just food for thought. Now we're gonna eat. Bye for now. All right, so this is my plate. It was kind of busy over there, so I didn't film anything. But I just got a little bit of everything to try. They gave me quite a few of the pork ribs, so hopefully those are good. So I did not show you my food. I had the same food. Um, as Jordan, you'll see a picture here. We also got some sweets. The remains of our sweets. Um, they're okay, but cookie's best. Chocolate chip cookie. It's really, really good. Would you like comment on anything? So Will says that I'm not allowed to say that these are the best chocolate chip cookies at sea because for some reason on the Independence of the Seas they brought perfect day cookie cake cookies on board. And those are at, those were we ate those at, at sea. So he says those have to be the best. I don't I I think she's right. Even I think it is the best at sea. We've never had a good chocolate chip cookie. We've never on had a good since then. And they yeah. don't exist on a regular ship. They do so, not exist on a regular ship. I'm saying that for availability and regular regularity. Regularity, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Princess has the best chocolate chip cookies at sea so far. So I, I I do agree. They're soft. They're chewy. They taste like a chocolate chip cookie. I don't have real high standards, honestly. I mean, it's very soft. Surprise! Like you think it'd be hard. By the looks of it, you'd think it was hard. And it's not. It's, not. it's really good. Okay, so we are going to go to Explorer Lounge, um, do trivia, do a game show. I can't remember what. Something like that. Trivia. We're doing trivia, and then we will. Uh, and then the game show. We'll be there until like 9:30. So we'll give you some clips here and there, and we'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye for now. Oh, you do get easily offended. <laughs> we do ask you to enjoy one of our other beautiful lounges around the Ruby Princess. It's not that I'm going to say, but you don't know what your fellow guests are going to say. So, disclaimer, done. Everyone's staying. All right, let's get it going. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to point out first and foremost, if you would love out there, make some noise if you're in love. 51 years, let alone be married for 51 years. I want to find out, what is the secret to a successful marriage of 51 years? Now, I'm going to start with you because you look like the ventriloquist. He looks like the dummy. So I'm going to start with you. Oh, no. Lisa Gott Kirshner. I mean. I love it. Charles. He also needs his own room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has his own room. All right, very good. Charles, secret for you. Secret. Oh, what is what is what is the secret to a successful marriage of fifty-one years? Part of your Mike. Mike. Understand, understanding that. But hers is hers, and what time is hers. Yeah. <laughs> Your husbands love you. Your husbands love you. They love you to death. They love you to death. But the president, the prime minister, the leader of your country has said, gentlemen up here on stage, you have to choose a second wife. You have to choose a second wife. <laughs> TV star, singer, if you were smart. It could be someone like that. Sometimes it could not be. It could be your friend. It could be one of your relatives. It could be someone on this cruise ship. Anyone in the world. Does it start with J? <laughs> It doesn't. Jennifer <laughs> Ames. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> can I get a, can I get a 
glass of champagne too. <laughs> Just leave me the bottle. I love you. Out of anyone in the world, anyone, the world. who do you think your husband chose as the second wife? Okay, back in the day, you liked Cheryl too. Okay, that would have been a good answer. That's really weird. It's weird for all of us to. I really don't. No? I mean, he's never really made over anybody. He said that girl at school was on the other day. Was that on here? Yeah. Is that how I got that picture? And then every time you saw it, there she is. Did she hear some noise? Yes. <laughs> okay. A friend, Annabelle. Who's her son? Annabelle? Annabelle? Annabelle. Yeah. Annabelle. 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 Is my son. A friend. Annabelle. Annabelle. Do you know Annabelle? She's a team friend of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, I don't think. <laughs> Okay. Are you, are you happy with that? Yeah. You're happy with that. What really pisses them off? Stop doing that! What is your most annoying habit? Your most annoying habit? That's the easy one. My political views. Yeah! Here we go! You have the same political views, so, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna say pass the gas. <laughs> no, she loves when you do that. <laughs> but, thanks for letting everyone know, if you get an elevator with these two, just take the stairs. <laughs> there we go. She says she doesn't like it when you pop your knees. You pop your knees? Don't do it! Please don't do it. Please don't. Yeah, she said you had a few too. You tell her what to do. Telling her what to do. Yeah, no, I don't. she doesn't like that either. There's a, there's a few, buddy. Um, but you're a bit impatient, I think was the answer, Abigail? It is impatient. Impatient, yeah, that's alright, that's alright.